This exotic mountain is world famous. It took nature 200 million years to create this marvel. Its enigmatic past and present are due to its unique appearance. Twisted pines, strange rocks, waterfalls, and misty slopes. Countless visitors have marveled at its extraordinary beauty and elegance. For Chinese people, the landscape of Yellow Mountain represents the ideal and beautiful scenery. Yellow Mountain is in southern Anhui province at the latitude of 30 degrees north. It is 40 kilometers long from south to north and 30 kilometers from east to west, and it separates the Yangtze and Tiantan rivers. Long ago, Chinese people enjoyed from afar the mountain's cover of pine trees its steep cliffs and its white mists in the valleys. Gradually, stories about immortals living on the mountain developed. The most popular of these legends was about the Yellow Emperor, the legendary ancestor of the Chinese people. because he was said to have become immortal on this mountain, that it was named after him. Mm -hmm. 
Yellow Mountain rises over 1,800 meters above sea level. Its steep sides make it very difficult to climb, and the constant mist gives it a mysterious appearance. Few of many attempts to climb it were successful before the Ming Dynasty. As a result, there are scant records of the mountain before that time. Its superb beauty was hidden in the wilderness until the 17th century. In 1616 AD, Xu Xiaoke, who had vowed to travel all over China, traveled two days on foot to reach the foot of Yellow Mountain. When he reached Guangming Peak, he became entranced by the impenetrable mist. After a short rest, the mist began to lift and the cool breeze revived him. He could now see the top of the mountain and he felt as though he couldn't get enough of its extraordinary scenery. Chu Xiaoke was struck by what he saw. He exclaimed, Once you've seen this mountain, you don't need to see any others. This later became a famous saying. You won't want to visit any other mountain after seeing the five great mountains. And you won't even want to visit them after seeing Yellow Mountain. In China, there are five mountains considered sacred. Yellow Mountain is huge, steep, misty, and also has waterfalls, exotic rocks, and a cool climate, a combination of the traits of the five great mountains. Many Chinese people say that once you've seen the five great mountains, you won't want to see another mountain. But seeing Yellow Mountain will make you lose interest in the five great mountains. Chinese people have loved Yellow Mountain ever since it became well known. The mountain has gained a special place in the history of Chinese civilization. More and more people have been coming to witness the beauty and charm of this mountain.
Yellow Mountain consists of Front Mountain and Rear Mountain with the Sky Sea between them. The rocks on Front Mountain are mostly rounded and loose from erosion. Those on Rear Mountain are more stable with mainly vertical weathering. Nature took billions of years to form the elegant and exotic Yellow Mountain. Yellow Mountain has gone through many changes and it's been the home of a rich abundance of flora and fauna thanks to its favourable environment. The geography of the mountain is complex. There is clear vertical distribution of entire colonies of plants on the mountainsides, as well as a wide variety of fauna. Because of its huge size and barren rock soil, Yellow Mountain is home to many strange plants and animals. Gyrophora is an edible fungus found in damp places on cliffs that requires almost seven years to mature. Though nutritional, it's very difficult to obtain. Yellow Mountain macaques are fast and powerful. Over time, their tails have gradually shrunk to less than two inches long as they evolved to adapt to life on the cliffs. They are one of the rarest members of the ape family. On the way up Yellow Mountain, there's a tall pine tree that looks like a waving hand greeting visitors. This tree is known as the Yellow Mountain Welcoming Guests Pine. It is the centuries-old symbol of Yellow Mountain. The 
Yellow Mountain Pine is a unique botanical species that has grown on Yellow Mountain for millennia. A tree only two metres or so tall may be centuries old. This is because they grow very, very slowly. They grow on all terrains on the mountain over 800 metres above sea level. The yellow mountain pine will grow anywhere that life is possible. They have roots that are much longer than their trunks to obtain nutrients from cracks so deep they nearly cut huge boulders in half. Hungry for water and light, they lean towards the sun, and this makes them flat on top so that they resemble flags, which distinguishes them from other pine species. Chinese people are especially fond of the shape of yellow mountain pines and the way they grow. The trees represent great vitality and indefatigable dignity. Chinese artists often depict their inner world through pine trees. After Xu Xiaoke explored Yellow Mountain in the Ming Dynasty, it became a popular destination for scholars and artists. They came to the mountain to find peace of mind, express their feelings, and lose themselves in the mountain landscape. Tianjiang, who had originally wanted to fight the Qing invasion in the late Ming Dynasty, ended up living on Yellow Mountain as an artist in the early Qing Dynasty. Yellow Mountain changed his painting style and it became his closest friend. In his paintings, he depicted his conversations with the mountain. Mountain's barren peaks, bizarre cracks and twisted pines mirrored his feelings about the Ming defeat and he drew them upside down as he saw them in his mind. Traditional Chinese landscape painting is characterized by lack of detail. This style expresses emotions through scenery. 
Such paintings make the limited space on the canvas feel infinite and reconnect people's souls with nature. Unlike Western-style paintings, Chinese landscape paintings eschew reality and true proportions to concentrate on a feeling of elegance. The unique cloud cover on Yellow Mountain provides artists with the perfect subject for such a style. When clouds cover the summit, the mist becomes part of the mountain. It is like a scene from a fairy tale with the peaks resembling islands floating among the clouds. Mountain environments are usually fairly stable, but Yellow Mountain is constantly changing. Chinese people have long had a tradition of losing themselves and reconnecting with nature, and Yellow Mountain is ideal for this purpose. The mountain is a true source of inspiration. The ever-changing sea of clouds, the many old tall pines, and the huge boulders are a natural work of art. Everyone who experiences the mountain's landscape in person has a strong desire to pick up a brush and paint it.
In early spring of the year 1655, a 14 year old monk and artist named Xu Tao came to Yellow Mountain. As he had always been a hermit, he had few friends or acquaintances. Xu Tao spent his entire life in appreciation of the elegance of this mountain. In his paintings, Yellow Mountain appears both tangible and intangible. Its vegetation seems to be both dying and thriving, and the clouds and mists seem to be at once forming and dispersing. His art focuses on the spirit, grandeur, and power of the mountain, and no one since has been able to reproduce his style. Chinese artists dedicate themselves to music, art, travel, and emotion, and they seek harmony between heaven, the earth, and people. They have found their inspiration in the ever-changing Yellow Mountain and portrayed its unique elegance in their paintings. This has made Yellow Mountain the greatest of mountains in the eyes of the Chinese people. Yellow Mountain provides a living source of elegance for Chinese paintings. Through Chinese art, it has become a cultural icon. Yellow Mountain, created by the almighty power of nature herself, is elegant and exotic. And in the hearts of Chinese people, it is a dreamlike landscape.